Welcome to EEMS 105. This video is aimed at orienting new users on how to download and activate EEMS. Let's get started. To download the EEMS setup package, go to the EEMS website. After opening the website, in the upper right corner, click on Account to log in. You can log in to the EEMS website using Google, LinkedIn, or your email. After logging in, go to the User Center tab and click Downloads. A list of EEMS setup packages is available. The latest version is shown at the top. Select the newest version of the setup package to download. After downloading the EEMS setup package, go to the folder containing the setup package file and unzip EEMS files if necessary. Double click on the executable file to open the setup program. The EEMS install wizard will run. To continue the process, click the next button. The licensed agreement is presented. Read through the terms and conditions for the use of the EFTC Explorer modeling system software. As part of the conditions of use of EEMS, you must accept the end user license agreement before installation. Then click the next button. You are then prompted for customer information. You may enter your information in the fields provided, then click the Next button. After clicking the Next button, a form for setting the destination folder for installation of EEMS and the example models will appear. It is recommended to select the default destination. You may change the destination folder by clicking the Change button. Note that EEMS can be installed only on Windows 64-bit operating systems. Click the Next button to continue. After clicking on the Next button, you will be prompted to select a setup option. A choice of complete or custom setup options are available. Complete means that all of the setup features will be installed, requiring more disk space. The custom setup allows you to install just one or a combination of files, including EEMS program files, data files, documents, and extra files. A complete installation is recommended. Upon completion of the installation wizard, you are prompted with the message, Install Wizard Complete. Click the Finish button to finish the EEMS installation and return to the desktop. You can activate EEMS in demo mode or full mode. For the free license, click on the demo button. The authentication form is displayed. There are several options for logging in, including a Google account, LinkedIn account, or EEMS account created on the EEMS website. The main form of EEMS for demo mode is now displayed. To check the license mode, click on the Help menu and select About. To be reminded of the limitations of the demo mode, click the Help menu, then select the License Management option. To upgrade from the demo mode to a licensed version, click the Upgrade button. A confirmation message will pop up. Click the Yes button to proceed or the No button to cancel the upgrade process. If you click the Yes button, the EEMS Activation Wizard form will appear. To activate EEMS using a license code, click on the Full button. An activation form appears. Select the Activate with License Code option and enter License Code. Then click the Activate button. EEMS will automatically activate the license version based on your license code provided. During activation, your PC must be connected to the internet. In some cases, if user permissions are not set correctly in Windows, you may need to activate using the Windows Administrator option. After activating, you can click the Help menu in the main toolbar and select About to check the current license information. If you wish to have an EMS license without an internet connection, a dongle, an offline license, is an option. DSI will provide you with a USB dongle that can be plugged into your computer to provide the license file required for running EMS. Offline licenses can be provided for both subscription licenses as well as perpetual licenses. To use the dongle, a FlexNet USB dongle driver may need to be installed. This may be downloaded from the EEMS website. Plug the dongle into a USB port. 
open EEMS, and a shortcut appears on the desktop. After clicking on the full button, an activation form is displayed. Select Activate with a dongle. Select the Browse button to browse to the license file on the USB dongle drive and select Open. Then select the Activate button. The EEMS form will then be opened. You should be aware if someone unplugs the USB dongle during the use of EE, a warning form will appear. EEMS will count up to 5 minutes and then close automatically. You must save the current work or plug the dongle back in within 5 minutes. When you want to use the license on another computer, you must deactivate the current license first. Go to the Help menu and then select License Management. Select the Perpetual License tab and then click the Deactivate button. A message confirmation will pop up and you should click the Yes button to continue. Click the Next button in the Deactivate Confirmation form and the Yes button to confirm your deactivation. A message will appear confirming the EEMS license has been deactivated successfully. Click OK to close the form. To deactivate the dongle license, go to the Help menu and select License Management. In the Perpetual License tab, select the Remove button. Thank you for watching. You can find the link to the next video below.